the big Ponzi scheme in Karnataka were the, uh, in which thousands of people were duped of crores of rupees. Now, after investors staged a protest, the cops have registered 15,000 complaints against the company while an SIT is probing the case and has arrested seven directors of the company so far. Pressures mounting to transfer the case to CBI as many investors feel that the alleged involvement of politicians may not allow for a transparent and thorough probe. Meanwhile, the accused Mansoor Khan's car has been seized by Karnataka's police from the Bengaluru International Airport. Cops now suspect that Mansoor left his car in the airport parking lot before fleeing the country. My colleague Neha Bali now joins us live uh, on the broadcast. Neha, we've heard from the families of many such investors who've been duped. Uh, they were sold these big dreams uh, by this uh, the owner of the company, but they've now uh, seen their savings go down the drain. Well, that's right, Virin. In fact, it's most unfortunate that many people, of course, we're talking about thousands of people that have been affected by this entire fraud. But also now joining me is a family, too, who has been affected by this, who's lost their amount also, of course, and they're still hopeful that they still have faith that someday that their amount will also come back to them. Let's really find out how now they plan to really go for, uh, go forward with this. ไม่ได้แค่มีเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเ
उसके बाद पैसा वापस ले गए वो बच्ची की शादी करेंगे इसके लिए लगाया था और कुछ नहीं Well, uh, there you have it. Of course, really, and that was what. Uh, that's just one of the families, of course, who has invested in this company. And at least now, hopefully, of course, these moving cases, these moving telling stories, of course, that these families have to tell should at least now put more pressure on the government. The pressure should build up. A special investigation team has already been formed in this regard to probe the matter. And let's just hope that at least going for, uh, forward now that the investigation is speeded up at, of course, and the pace really picks up. And moreover, that this man Mansoor. Uh, Khan, who claims to be the founder of IMA Jewels, does come back and ensures that all the money is returned to the investors. Right. Unfortunately, the story is of so many families across the state of Karnataka who were misled by this company, uh, the owner of which, of course, is uh, still at large. They haven't been able to find him. Thanks, Niha, for joining us with that story.